Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to deploy future updates to your Windows operating system. So this update could be deployed to Windows 10 or Windows 11. So as you may know, Windows 10 and Windows, Windows 11 comes with a version. For example, we have like uh, Windows 10, we can have the version 1903, 1806, 2, 1H2 and more but windows 11 also have the same but right now if you want to deploy this feature update using microsoft intune or endpoint manager to your windows operating system let me show you how to do just that so from your endpoint manager go to devices and then scroll down and here we have our future update for windows 10 and later so windows 10 and later means windows 10 and 11. so let's click create profile and here we can just decide to actually call this let me just call this windows 10 and then 22h2 so we're going to be deploying the latest version of windows 10 to our windows 10 devices so we want to actually make the update available as soon as possible so we're going to click next and here you see the assignment we can actually choose which group we want to we can actually also include and exclude but let's just add our windows 10 group so it's actually advisable to have different groups like for your windows 10 your windows 11 and even for your test devices you have the different group for that so let me just select my windows 10 device my windows 10 group and then click next you can see we have one device there so let's just click next and then click create so now clicking create it will take actually take some time for your device to start receiving this updates what i need to do right now you can see it says assign is no and if i do a refresh you can see now we have a green check which says yes and it says supported which is going to be the windows 10 version 2 2 h2 but mind you your windows 10 should not be like you should not be using like windows 10 version 1607 definitely you're going to receive an error message thank you very much for your time and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any question concerning Microsoft Intune, you can always leave a comment in the comment section of this video and I'll reply to you as quick as possible. Bye.